Hello, NoHo First, and welcome to another episode of Come With The Light and Reveal, where every Wednesday we talk about one of the beautiful stained glass windows here in our sanctuary. The sanctuary that we are almost back in because construction is going very well on the roof repair, and we are going to be back in before you know it to examine these beautiful windows in person. But until then, just to hold you over, I have the story of St. James the Lesser. How did he get this nickname? Well, don't worry, I'm going to tell you. There were two disciples named James. This window represents James the Lesser. When the Gospel writers list the 12 disciples, they identify him as James the son of Alphaeus. This distinguishes him from James the son of Zebedee. Now, Mark speculates that James is younger. Others speculate that James was short. However, the Gospel only mentions James the Lesser when talking about the disciples as a group. There's no record of anything he did or said as an individual, at least in the Gospels. Because after James the son of Zebedee died in the year 44, a new James became the new leader of the church. This was probably James the Lesser who would no longer be confused with James the Greater because it was his time to shine. Over time, this leader acquired the name of James the Just. Personally, I think that's a much nicer nickname. James the Just was the author of the book of James. The figure holds a scroll in our window as a symbol of his contributions to the Bible. Now, here's something interesting. In Christian art, showing something three times reminds viewers of the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit that make our one God. Three stones here refer to the martyrdom of St. James the Lesser, because legend says that he was thrown from the temple in Jerusalem to die in the stones below. Now the stones in this image are not made out of glass. Those are real stones up there, because this window was donated by the Oral family. And George Oral loved to collect geodes. Geodes are plain round lumps which hide beautiful interiors lined with crystals or color inside. A geode from George's collection was taken, sliced as thin as glass, polished, and is up there shining in the window. This beautiful window of St. James the Lesser was dedicated in memory of George Orwell by Margaret Orwell, their family, and their friends. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Come With the Light and Reveal. We'll see you soon in our sanctuary, and we'll see you next Wednesday for another window and another story. God bless.